Enjoy! We've been moving! Excuse me, I think there's a bone in my slop. Oh, so there is! Bone apathy! <laughs> Keep it moving! Ahoy, Miss Lunch Lady, ma'am. Serving any non-flop items today? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. We will not have any non-slopped items until, um, never! Ugh, every day it's slop. Monday's refried slop. Tuesday's twice-baked slop. Wednesday's slop medley. Thursday's leftover slop. Friday's mystery slop. Since we're the ones eating the food, it might be cool for us students to have some input. Oh, super cool. Then, after that, you can come to my home and tell me how to brush my tooth. Listen, Pesky, I've been in this business since before you were the maggot, and I'll tell you one thing. I don't take no input. Oh, yeah? Well, you're gonna... Bring it. Maggie, I applaud your moxie, but the lunch lady sets them in you. But if you could please just talk to her? Listen, she scares me. I tried talking to her once before. That's how I got this. <laughs> Drop this reckless crusade, Maggie, for all our sakes. Never! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Isn't there some way we can make this whole lunch thing go away? Huh? If you require more napkins, I'm your man. I will not be bought off with your flashy napkins, Principal Escrip. The students of Buzzell Academy have the right to choose what they eat. Good day to you, sir. I said good day. Students of Buzzdale, you are the flies of tomorrow. Yet you are being served the lunch of yesterday. I have a dream that someday tacos and hamburgers will rest on the same plate. Who should choose what we eat? The lunch lady? No! Principal Pestrick? No! Should we? The students? No! Focus, people. Should we? The students? Yes! Do you hear that, lunch lady? Do you hear that, Principal Pestrick? Open your ears to the sound of change! Yes! You want change, huh? Holding me back. Maggie Pesky, you've done it again. With all due respect, sir, it might be good to get some new blood in the cafeteria. Unfortunately, Maggie, word of your rebellious antics has spread through the lunch person community. We've been blackballed. Who says it has to be another lunch lady? I bet if we fire the math department, we can afford a fancy French chef. Or, if budget's a concern, I'm sure there's a prison cook out there looking for a change of pace. I mean, this isn't rocket science, my friend. If ordinary moms and dads can cook, how hard can it be? That's it! I don't know how you did it, Maggie, but this multi casserole is amazing! Mm. It tastes like victory. Actually, it tastes like my mama's moldy casserole. Raina girl, you like the child? You who, Raina? Look over here, baby. It's your mommy. Uh, my brother. Mom? Hey, hey, son, come here. How's about a hug, huh? Like you said, Maggie, if ordinary moms and dads can cook, how hard can it be? Genius! Carry on. Nice work, Mags. Now my mama can embarrass me night and day. Wait a minute. What's everyone so upset about? We won. We got the power. Hey, Mrs. Garflight, let's have pizza tomorrow. What do you say? Okay, dear. You got it. Yo, Mr. Hairlager, any chance I can get another brownie? I can't say no to you kids. <laughs> Rena, who's in control? Uh, we are in control. That's right. Brownie me. Huh? Huh? Hey, Maggie. Hey, Jim Shorts. Rogue, you left behind your rancid pastrami.
party, all right? Oh, what a slob you are. What's going to happen when you go to college and I'm not there to straighten? You're going to flunk out? That's what's going to happen when I'm not there to straighten. And then you'll have to work at your Uncle Larry's blue shop. Help me. Hey, Ruben's mom, how about getting me one of those pastramis to go? Oh, yeah, how about we use the magic word? Oh, um, right. Please. Much better. Oh, she's cute this one, so ask her out already. See, they're still parents. You just have to give them boundaries. Boundaries? You let them inside the school! They're like an infection, Maggie. First the cafeteria, now they're in the hallways. You think they're just gonna stop? Do you actually think they're just gonna stop? Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <sighs> Class, can anyone tell me what X equals in this formula? Excuse me. I'm Jimmy's mom. I just need to pass out the ballot so the kids can vote on tomorrow's lunch. Yo, right over here, Jimmy's mom. Is that necessary to interrupt my lesson? Jimmy, you know the answer to that question. You did do your homework. Do we have to go over this again? Leah, dear, take these ballots to the cafeteria for me, Kay. But I have a wooden... <laughs> Hey, Jimmy's mom, uh, aren't you needed in the cafeteria? Because that's where the parents should be. Uh, Joe! Did I hear a sneeze? Mr. Hairlager? What happened to Nurse Hatchison? Ah, that quack wouldn't know her thorax from her elbow. I sent her home. Hey, Julio, check me out! I'm a nurse! Okay, everyone's healthy here. You can go back to the cafeteria, sir. Hey, Sparky, guess who's the new librarian? Will all parents please return to the cafeteria? Where you belong! Miss Wings, can you're back? Think bug. No, I'm not back. Just picking up my lucky glue stick. Then I'm out of here. Out of here? You don't have to take this. Wait, quick! Oh, my bug, they're everywhere. It's like Night of the Living Parrots. You kids don't look so good. I better take your temperature. What they need is more homework. More discipline. What have you done? No, wait. This is good, right? The more they spread, the more power we have. Someone brownie me. I said brownie me. We gotta get these parents back to the cafeteria. Oh, tut, 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 tut. no, 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 Maggie. Those parents are free labor. Why, with all the money I'm saving, I bought this classy new desk. <laughs> we have a serious problem. Oh, contrary. You have a serious problem. You were the one bent on change, and oh, did you get it? You must be a bachelor. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, there it is. This book is nearly six years overdue. Do you realize the fines you owe? But I have principal's immunity. <laughs> you should wear a helmet, then. See you tomorrow, and the next day, and the next... Uh, well, you get the idea. So, you were saying... We can't just send them back to the cafeteria. We have to get them out of the school. There's only one person I know who's tough enough to send those monsters back to their caves. Um, hello? I'm looking for the lunch lady. Huh? Buzzdale Academy's lunch lady? Ah. Uh, hi. Ha! Huh. Maggie Pesky, right on time. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. You were right. I thought I wanted change, but I just had no appreciation of how important you really were. And now... I got a couple of conditions. But I haven't asked anything yet. Don't have to. I'm a lunch lady. Jimmy? Y equals... You! Out! What? I'm Jimmy's mother. <laughs> No! 
kudos to you, does Maggie. See? You should put me in charge of more things. I was thinking... <clears throat> about my conditions. Ugh, enjoy. Well, you do get to control the food now. Keep it moving. Well, we're all delighted to have our very own lunch lady back at Buzzdale. But at what cost? <laughs> at what cost? Looks like you was right, Pesky. Change is good. <laughs> Whatever you are, pal. I'm Maggie Pesky. Remember that name, because one day... I'm gonna be a famous rock star. But today, I play for free. So sit back, relax, and get ready for some rockin' tune skis. place to practice. Uh, yeah, right. Well, I won't bug you. I'll just keep joyously skipping along. Oh, Yuki. What are you so happy about? Well, there's this fly in my class. You've got a crush? That is so cute. No, Lucy's cute. She's got big eyes, a pretty smile, hairy legs. When do I get to meet this lucky bug? Uh, right after I do. I kind of haven't talked to her yet. Pupi, she'll never know you like her if you don't say anything. I know, but I'm way too shy to talk to her. So, I wrote a song, and I'm going to sing it to her tomorrow at show and tell instead. Then, she'll finally notice me. Pupi, you want to really impress Lucy? Have a real live rock star sing your song. But I don't know any rock stars. <laughs> oh, I get it. You know some rock stars. Could you talk to them? Ugh. Or you could sing my song to Lucy. That would be awesome. I'd be happy to, little bro. Great, because we'll never get a real rock star by tomorrow. You light up my heart. Toxic waste Glowing in the dark Every time that you're near My heart goes a flood And I'm We're losing the crowd Tony the big green chick Had a nose that loved a bit Tony the big green chick Had a nose that loved to pick Tony the big green chick Had a nose that loved to pick Tony Hey, Maggie, what happened? Wasn't it fantabulous? I totally connected with my audience. You were awesome! Yuck, I just kind of slug. Ugh. But why'd you stop singing my song? I mean, Tony the Big Green Tick! That was gold, baby! And I just made it up. What a rush! It's just, you were supposed to... <laughs> I'm having a birthday party tomorrow, and I was wondering... Oh, boy, here it comes! If your sister could play at my party! Could you, Maggie, please, 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 please? Hey, Pupi, what's 
Santa's almost totally uber famous rock star? Zebra, <laughs> leopard, or twinkle light? Whatever. You're right. If one bird's out, they all go. I'm going leopard. Have fun at Lucy's party. I'll be in my room alone in the dark. Oh, Pupi. I meant to finish your song. I really did. It's just... Bring me back a piece of rotten cake and um, maybe a new heart to replace this broken one. But only if they have them. I know. You can come with me and be my roadie. You know, lug my guitar, my amp, all my equipment. Gee, sounds great. That way, you'll be with me when I sing your song at Lucy's very own birthday party, which makes it like a birthday present. Yippee! Let's go get your girl. Ahem. Oh, right. More and I may start cramping. Man, these opening nights always stink. We want Maggie! We want Maggie! We want Maggie! Hey, I'm gonna finish my 20 minutes whether you grab like it or not! <laughs> You're gonna play my song this time, right, Maggie? Of course! You're not just my roadie, you're my brother. I thought I told you to tune this. You know, Maggie, you know what those kids out there love about you the most? My talent? Nope. My looks? Nope. My hair color? Nope. What these kids love about you is that you skip the sappy love songs and go right to the stuff that matters most to them in their lives. You know, like, uh, boogers. He had a nosy love to pick. Ah, oh, that song gets me every single time. All the monsters are all yours. All right, everybody! Who's ready to pick their nose? Best seats are in the pool! Here, hold this for me. Yeah, this too. Okay, you've all been great. I just got one very special song to sing before I go. Goody. Tony the Tick. I sang that already. I Tony the Tick. Tony the Tick! Tony the Tick! Sing it, or we'll tell our mommies! We'll tell our mommies! We'll tell our mommies! We'll tell our mommies! You didn't sing it! I know, I'm sorry, I... You promised, and you promised, and you promised, and you still didn't do it! I know, but it's just... I'm too big now! Everybody expects me to be a certain way! I'm afraid if I sing it now, they'll all turn against me! Oh well, then I guess you won't sing it for me here either! Cheesy McBuzzy calls? They want me to perform in their family-style restaurant and arcade? Man, that's like the kitty big time! Next stop, long tours across the world! So basically, yes, you're right. I won't sing your song at Cheesy McBuzzy. But I've got an idea. Tomorrow, you bring Lucy to the playground, and I'll sing your song to just the two of you. With no one else around to hear me do it. Absolutely no one. At all. No one. Just the two of us? It's going to be your moment, kiddo. I won't let you down. <laughs> oh, it's Maggie Pesky! <laughs> My name is Tony. I'm a tick, and I really do have a nose I love to pick. Look, I'm sorry, but I've got to be somewhere. I'll see you all at my concert tonight, okay? Guys, what can I say? I'm so sorry. I got here as soon as I could. Please don't hate me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Mm. But I'll still see you at the show tonight, right? My big break, remember? Pupi! This 
the song Someone Special to Me wrote for someone special to him. It's not about boogers, but a promise is a promise. This goes out to Lucy. Every time that you're near, my heart goes a flutter. I've never seen such beauty, not even in the gutter. What is this line? Gaucho, I'd be excited too if it was my first trip to Riding Muck Ranch. But don't expect too much in the way of quality time, because Uncle Zeb can only have one favorite, and I'm pretty sure that position's taken. Uh, I love that hat. What hat? The little red favorite hat. Uncle Zeb gives it to his most specialicious niece. Oh, now, Maggie, I don't think my brother really plays favorites. Are you kidding? He totally does. And I get stuck doing all the work for the bacteria auction. Aw, cheer up. This time you'll have Pupert to help you with all the dirty work. Howdy there, Chauncey, Frida. How y'all doing? Good job. All right, enough of you old salts. Where are them kids? Aldrin, you're growing like a weed. Well, I reckon you can do the work of ten flies. Yeah, thanks. In fact, why don't you boys take the rest of the day off? Woohoo! All those males will come to the barn, would you? Great. <gasps> oh, now look here. Who's the cutest little wing flapper in all the western dubs? Here comes the hat. Welcome to the Riding Buck Ranch, Pupert. But I'm supposed to be... Hooray! Look at me! Yeehaw! 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 Now that's my little buckaroo. Come on out to the pasture and I'll show you the herd. Oh, <laughs> isn't that sweet? Nothing's more important than spending time with family. You're so right. Well, see you kids later. <laughs> So, you think you can take the favorite hat just like that, huh, Pupert? There's only one favorite on this ranch, and her name is... Maggie, don't forget the luggage! <laughs> Y'all got here just in time. Come up close now, Pupert, and take a look at the miracle of life. Old Celia's just about to have a youngin'. It's a boy! You check this out. It um works a lot better with the hat. That is just sad. Pupert, cheer me up. Bring more scum bales over for the baby. You gotta fatten them up for the auction. Welcome to Rancho Rejecto. How come I'm doing chores? I'm supposed to be the favorite. Poor, naive Maggie. Let me show you something. My hat. No, back when I was Ed's favorite, it was my hat. I could have told you that this time Pupert would be the new sheriff of Favorite Town. Then why didn't you tell me? So I can see that face you're making right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a keeper. No, I refuse to give up. That hat belongs on my head, and that's exactly where it's gonna be. Come on, now, Celia, I know you got more than that. <laughs> that bang do 
Little Blasted? Maybe Ophelia needs a rest, Uncle Zeb. She did just divide. Yeah, I was just hoping for maybe one more. She's the only one who split for me all season. Orneriest bunch of bacteria I've ever seen. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? If these darn bacteria don't start dividing before Friday's livestock auction, I'll have nothing to sell. I could lose my ranch, little feller. <laughs> Uncle Zeb, that's terrible. Terribly awesome. It's perfect because now, if we can only find a way to bail Zeb out, we can get that favorite hat back to my favorite place. My... I mean, our pets. We may not be able to out-cute Pubert, but we can definitely outsmart him. I am so in. Come on! Divide! Divide, I say! <laughs> going down. No dinner for any of you until you divide. And there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, you guys. We tried to get you to divide the nice way. Now for the not-so-nice way. No, genius. The auction's tomorrow. Don't worry, I'll think of something. Yeah, well, you might want to think a little faster. Tick tock, tick tock. Whoa, I think you just hypnotized old Celia. So what? We're gonna go on the road with a magic act? Don't you see? We can tell her to do anything now. Old Celia, from this moment forward, you will divide every time you hear the word. You know, maybe we should go with some kind of code that only we know, so we can control it. Some random series of letters and... 76QQ309. My Bugs Ball scoring record, the section of bleachers I can hit a fly ball to, plus the number of times I've been homecoming king times the number of places my teeth gleam when I smile. Who's the first thing that popped into my head? You shall divide whenever you hear the word 76QQ309. Now awake! Well, here goes. 76QQ309! Oh, oh, sweet! Make her do it again! Uh, we gotta be careful. If they get too small, they're worthless. Good point. Besides, why settle for just her? Now, what's the surprise y'all are so up to dang eager to. Sweet Kalitas! My herd! This is. You saved my ranch! I'm so happy! I gotta see some dancing! Okay! Yeehaw! 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 Huh? Let me see some of that old magic, Maggie! Uh, uh, actually, Uncle Zeb, we both... We both decided I look absolutely fantabulous in this hat, don't you think? Can't argue with that! But, Uncle Zeb, I'm the one who... Now, boy, why can't you just let your brilliant sister have her moment? I'll tell you what, jealousy is one sad, ugly beast. <sighs> Maggie, cheer me up! <laughs> well, I guess I better get the herd ready for the auction! Blame the hat. It makes me do crazy things. She stole Uncle Zep from me. She double-crossed me. But dang, this fat isn't one fine hat. I've got 200. Do I hear 250 from the gentleman in the back? 250. Let me hear you say it one time. 250. Thank you, sir. I've got 250. 250. The gentleman go in once, twice. So to the man with no teeth. Why, Uncle Zeb, look who's here. It's your second and third favorites. You two can find out which is which later. I don't like the hat to see too much violence. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Here come the beauties. <laughs> Folks, I've got to tell you, this batch from Riding Muck Ranch may be the finest I have ever laid eyes on. Why, thank you, son. You're welcome. Hold those bids, folks. Looks like there's a car out in the lot with its lights on. License plate number 76QQ309. What? <laughs> Once again, that plate number is 76QQ309. <gasps> They're getting too small. Yee-haw, that's a tongue tickler. I'm gonna say it five times fast. 
76 Q2309, 76 Q2309, 76 Q2309, 76 Q2309, 76 Q2309, 76 It's my car! It's my car! <laughs> Extra pay! Oh, please, they're tiny. How much damage could they do? myself for playing favorites. Now y'all are all my favorites! I never realized how much that silly little hat meant to all y'all. Oh, that old thing? We're so over it. Okay, I get it Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Weekends, holidays. See ya! 